Hello listeners with no lives and probably bored out of their mind. Welcome to our podcast, I'm Just a Girl. I am Eileen, an undergraduate alumni from Loyola University with a psychology major and a psychology crime and justice minor. And I'm Makoto. I'm also studying at Loyola University as a next-gen student from Japan, and my major is communication. Today, we will talk about justification of Asian women society. Ever since the early creation of both men and women, women has always been seen as weak or simply known for their body image due to gender and intersectionality. Asian women, more precisely, are being fetishized every day within all forms of media. Within our podcast, we will talk about how Asian women has been objectified not only in the music media such as K-pop, but also within the entertainment industry as anime and pornography. Now, Makoto, hit me with some facts on to why we chose Asia. Yeah, because Asian women objectification is a really urgent problem in the world. During COVID-19 pandemic, there was increased assault on Asian women in the United States. It's not only due to the COVID-19 problem, but connected to historical and global problems that involve the issue of objectifications. Asian countries, especially in East Asia, have had strong patriarchal systems. So they tend to portray women as weak, inferior, or just as sexual objects for men in their pop cultures. Furthermore, in Western society, there are colonial ties with Asian countries, which reinforce the idea in which Asian countries are seen as inferior. In brief, Asian women are one of the most marginalized communities inside or outside of their countries. Honestly, I totally agree with you, Makoto. Did you also know that women are being objectified in anime films? Wait, really? Tell me more. Well, to start off, anime is a style of Japanese films and television animation typically aimed at adults as well as children. I see, but how is it objectified? Well, animated women have been extremely modified with their appearances throughout the years. They would have their body parts more exposed and just filled with sexual intent. This including certain voice tones and detailed sexual body descriptions. But what's sad is that these portrayals create unrealistic images and ideals of women that are projected to current and future generations of young women. If you think about it, young female audiences who watch anime probably don't even realize the effects of the degrading stereotypes. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Objectification has become so common that no one even realizes what's happening. Exactly. I think our friend Natalie in the Netherlands has something to say as well. So Natalie, you're a regular anime watcher. Do you believe women in anime are objectified? Yes, certainly so. How does this make you feel? Uh, To be honest, it's pretty upsetting to see that nowadays uh, women are still being objectified. Yeah, I totally agree. It's sad to think that people are becoming more unaware as time passes. Yeah, exactly. Now tell me, what is one anime that is greatly sexually objectified and how is it objectified? A great example would be uh, High School DxD. It's not completely in the typical genres but it is romance and even though women are still being objectified and they really don't need to uh you could see that the clothes on them are extremely tight and it's just uncomfortable nobody would like to wear that and as for the camera angles they're just put in positions to again just make everything seem just sexualized and it's really not supposed to be like that so that's a great example of something that is not as it should be that's seriously messed up i'm making sure to never watch that but Anyways, that concludes our interview. Thank you so much for your input. No problem. Be sure to keep watching if you want to see the next segment of I'm Just a Girl podcast. It's good that we got a global perspective from anime objectification. We can finally say we aren't the only ones who believe this. But wait, if this applies to anime, does it also apply to Asian pornography? Yes, in cinematography, Asian porn, there's something called the lowly fetish. 
The lowly fetish is a person who is a victim of someone with pedophile urges without caring about their age or consent. With this fetish, it portrays women as cute, doll-like, and unassuming with extraordinary sexual powers. This sick concept also including things like Asian schoolgirls and sexualized daughter-mother roles. In other words, Asian image portrayal in both the imaginary and real world is absolutely screwed up. But enough about that, Makoto. Are there more ways that Asian objectification is a major issue? The rising popularity of K-pop is also leading to sexual objectification of Asian women. Oh, I often listen to them, but I didn't know that. You do? Yeah, most people are not recognizing, but Celine and Robert Rudolph pointed out that the high standards of beauty in K-pop female groups reinforce the traditional femininity based on the patriarchal system. In fact, many, no, most female K-pop artists are required to have plastic surgery so they can fit the beauty standard. Besides, they have to go on crazy diets to keep their very skinny shapes. One member of a K-pop girls group said that she only ate ice for one week to lose her weight. Yeah, these examples are really normal in the K-pop industry. Yes, but they are making hyper femininity in East Asian society and women are expected to be slender and pretty. I think costumes emphasizing body shape or exposing the skin objectifies female artists too. That's a really good point. If you google K-pop girls group, you can see a bunch of photos with girls exposing their belly, shoulders, or legs. Of course, some artists challenge existing gender norms, but most artists are supporting those norms in these ways and influence fans' perceptions of gender. In fact, one study shows that K-pop fans tend to have more prejudiced gender views than other people. Wait, is that including us? We don't say all of the fans are biased, but it's clear that they are influenced by certain ways of describing women in the K-pop industry. So we've been talking about sexual objectification in pop cultures, including anime, porn, and K-pop. But how do these descriptions of women affect their daily lives? The yellow fever should be one example of this influence. Yellow fever refers to especially white or black men who find Asian women sexually attractive. Is it like a type? Yeah, it's difficult to distinguish from type, but people infected with yellow fever see Asian women not as an individual, but as just a category. If you search Asian girls, you can find a lot of results about Asian girls' porn, naked Asian girls' photos, or why Asian girls are attractive. That's so disgusting. Yes. Clearly, it shows many people see Asian women just as sexual objects and connect them with sexual images. Also, as a more serious case, there was a shooting at a spa in Atlanta in which a lot of Asian women work. One Asian woman talked about her feeling about Asian hate, especially for women like this. There's this huge fetishization, this huge stereotype put upon Asian women specifically about the subordination or how they're like subservient. It's truly disgusting. And, you know, like we're humans. I am an Asian woman. I'm a human. I'm a person. I'm not a prize to be won. So objectification can lead not only to a sexual insult, but also disrespect them and false perceptions that you can do anything to Asian women. As our podcast is coming to an end, 
We argue that ways of portraying Asian women in pop cultures are connected to Asian fetish, dehumanization, and the racialized sexism. This problem should not be taken lightly because it can micro-levelly lead to daily life discriminations and sometimes to major problems such as sexual assault or murder. Stereotype images for Asian women such as them being thin, naive, submissive, or sexually open are exactly the same as the description of women in Japanese anime, pornography, or K-pop. Thus, we can say that these biased representations of Asian women in pop culture influence and reinforce the objectification of them in the actual world. Thank you for listening to I'm Just a Girl. Goodbye. Bye.